peace and all good things. You know, I love rituals and I love, you know, uh, things in which we do all the time, you know, as a habit, if you will, especially those prayers, you know. I love saying these certain types of prayers, doing these certain types of rituals, or really entering into a prayerful moment that I feel comfortable with. And then I say, I did that, I participated in it, and it was really nice and kind of check off the box. However, I think that we're really going to be going into that as we're going to be entering this Holy Week and really having a lot of prayers, a lot of time for, for prayer, and a lot of the rituals in which are at the heart of our, of our faith. But I wanted to share with you a quote from Thomas of Chilano's Second Life of St. Francis. Where this, in the spirit of St. Francis, we read, All his attention and affection he directed with his whole being to the one thing which he was asking of the Lord. Not so much praying as becoming himself a prayer. I think that what St. Francis really teaches us is that we can go through the motions, we can have these rituals in which we always go to every year, you know, with the Easter Triduum, you know, uh, all these Palm Sunday, all the events of Holy Week. We could be saying our prayers even with our families or our own personal prayers, you know, saying our Father's Hail Mary's, the Rosary, this, that, or the other. And while all of that is very, very, very important, and has a very important role in our own spiritual lives. I think that what St. Francis is trying to say that if this prayer does not change us, if it doesn't make us a better person, it actually doesn't make us into a prayer in which we become closer to Jesus Christ and through our actions and through our words that we somehow give others a, a sense of this love of Jesus, that we share with other people the hope and the peace and the mercy that is that comes from these great mysteries here in this Holy Week and then Easter. So I perhaps that's a question for us today. How are we not only going to do the rituals uh, in our lives of prayer, saying certain words, doing certain things, going through different motions, but how are we going to become prayer? How are we going to be a sacrifice of our own lives up to God? How are we going to really, through our actions and through our own hearts, give thanks to God for the many gifts that he has given to us? And how are we going to intercede on behalf of all those in need and be instruments of God's mercy and love today. God bless you. Have a great day.